If you guys want some FIFA 16 coins as fast and as cheap as possible, head on over to IGVault.com. Their link is down in the description. AJ3 gets you a further 8% off. They're fully automated and 100% reliable. So head on over there and get yourself stocked up on some coins. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Legends of Squad Builder Showdown. The Euros is finished. FIFA 16 is coming to an end. And we have now basically had... A, just over a year, like it's been a little bit more than a year since the first ever Squad Builder Showdown. We've got two FIFA's worth of some sick players. And today, we are still going to be carrying on doing Squad Builder Showdowns in FIFA 16. But, I thought it would be a perfect time to take a look at some of the absolute legends of this series. We've got a full start 11. We've got some honourable mentions down on the bench. And in that start 11 as well, we've got four key players that are the legends. The ultimate, my favourite legends of of Squad Builder Showdown, and we're going to go through them today, let you guys know in case you have never seen them, and then try these bad boys out in a game of online seasons. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you smash a like on it, and let me know down in the comment section, who is your favourite legend, who is your ultimate legend from Squad Builder Showdown? I have chosen four myself, because I just couldn't, well, there, there is one that's going to win, I'm pretty sure you get, guys can guess who it is. But there's four really good ones. Let me know who maybe your top three favourites are, your number one favourite, if you can pick one down in the comment section. Remember to go and check out the last Squad Builder Showdown I did, which is on transfer Manchester United Ibrahimovic, if you want some actual Squad Builder Showdown. First, let's run you guys through. And we're going to start off with the ultimate key player. One massive player playing up front, the goal machine. I'm sure you guys can guess exactly who it is. It is big. Tony Hibbert, yes, let's get him straight into the squad, there he goes, 72 rated, 20 shooting, what an absolute guy, he is my first key player in this team, so as you can see, he is known as God, Lord, whatever else, massive title you could possibly think of, or if you're an Everton fan, a lot of people do call him Hibbo, he scores when he wants, when he did score, we absolutely rioted and it was a free kick as well so the random fact of Tony Abbott he's probably better free kicks than Harry Bloody Kane. Hibbo's free kicks rocket under the wall into the bottom corner Harry Kane's free kicks it's like he's playing golf he aims for the bloody flag but Tony Hibbert goal machine fingers crossed he's gonna bang a goal in in the game fingers crossed he's gonna score a free kick like his only goal in real life that wasn't even in competitive football so it doesn't even count we've released him he never ever ever scored the goal for Everton but he is an absolute squad builder showdown legend coming in at right back if you've used your trump card coming in at striker if you haven't I actually scored a goal against Tom with Tom had legend Schmeichel in goal Hibbert didn't care he banged it in anyway what an absolute guy. So, let's carry on and put a couple of normal legends in. We're going up first. A man by the name of Nipple. He's got multiple cards, but this guy's name deserves some respect. So, we're going to stick some respect on his name and use his team of the season. When he's played at centre-back, he's often used as silver cards. He did then get an upgrade to gold as well. We're going for his team of the season. He deserves some respect. He's an absolute legend. He is the man named after a nipple. The areola is not only the little bit around your nipple. It is also an absolute squad builder showdown legend. So there we go. He is going into the squad. Left midfield, we have got a legend. A legend son and a legend himself. It is, of course, Enzo Fernandez. Zinedine Zidane is this guy's dad. Is he quite on the same level? Not at all, but he goes into absolutely tons of Squad Builder Showdown squad. So there he is, Enzo Fernandez. That's that's basically all you can say about him, really. Zinedine Zidane is his dad. That's like his best accomplishment in life. I mean, it's not. He plays for Real Madrid, and I would absolutely love to have a card on FIFA. But for now, we're just going to laugh at him because he sucks on Squad Builder Showdown. Okay, let's move on. Let's get another key player. This guy is called... Raheri Harry Hermanana. Raheri. You guys are going to have to give me a minute to type this guy's name in. I'll be back in a sec. Raheri Harry Manana. <laughs> also known as. Basically, because no one knows how to pronounce this guy's name. Actually, this is a genuine 100% true fact. He has got zero appearances for his club niece because the manager actually isn't able to announce him in the squad. He's like going through the subs and he'll be like announcing all the normal players and he goes to call him on the bench and then he's just like uh, and picks the next guy along because he just can't say it. Look, it doesn't even fit on the bloody screen. It doesn't even fit on his card. Harry, Harry. 
don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, let's crack on with another player in this squad. We're actually going to switch. We're going to switch him to the other side because we're bringing in someone who is from the league of BBVA as well. It is a man who is famous for looking exactly like the Teddy stealing weirdo from Ted, and it is Serrano. Not only does he absolutely suck, not only is he 56 rated than in the league of BBVA, he also looks like that guy. I've always wanted my own teddy bear. That guy from the film Ted, the bad guy, the weirdo. It's just Serrano. It just is. That's, it's just him. And he's terrible. He absolutely sucks. We've used him quite a lot on Squad Builder Showdown. Some of these guys have only been in once or twice. Like, I think Rim has only been in a couple of times. But he's just so funny and so memorable that I have to put him in as one of the key players. Serrano gets used all the time. And he, he, he just sucks. He just does. But there we go. We're going to put in another guy who is... Not make that many appearances, but when he does, it is very, very memorable. And his name gets said a lot in the games. And that's because it is Son Noop Doggy Dog. There we go. He is going into the squad. The Tottenham right midfielder, who's basically the worst right mid in the BPL. Son Noop. Son Noop Doggy Dog. There he is. He's in the squad. He sucks. He sucks so bad. They all suck. Apart from the nipple. But he's playing up and, and apart from Hibbert, of course. And apart from Funes Mori, who we've got in there just for being an actual squad builder. Like an actual legend. He is just sick. The best centre-back on the game ever. But most of these guys are absolutely terrible. And I am not hopeful for my chances when we play this game. So, maybe to rescue myself a little bit, we're going to put in just the ultimate guy. It is, of course, you see me rolling, the hating, he's trying to catch me riding. Look at that, he's got three cards now, he's been moved. Not only has he been upgraded, he's then been moved to CDM as well, which I'm not too happy about, because I just love playing his bronze card at centre back for people and he's actually another one of our key players. Luke see me rolling, there he is, defending so good. The hey, enough of that, enough of that. Anyway, Luke see me rolling, In his random fact is that he's actually the president of the helmet wearing club on FIFA. This guy has got a helmet in game. He's an outfielder. The other famous member of the helmet wearing club is of course Petr Cech. But this guy is the president because he takes it to another level. He wears it at centre back or at striker if you want to put Lucimi at striker. But he is the president of the helmet wearing club. Lucimi rolling, absolute legend and another one of our key players who gets used all of the time. So let's finish this squad off. We've got a couple of players to go. We have got another key player to come in as well. And I'm sure you guys will be able to guess. But first up, we have got the Brazilian Real Madrid left back. Who is not Marcelo, but is always given instead of him Abner. Oh, he's just, he's, he's actually quite pacey, which is the only thing he's got going for him really. 56 defender, 59 physical, 5 foot 9, 96. He's like 12. He's, he's not that actually quite old now, I think. What, does that make him 18, 19? Oh my god, I feel so old. It makes him 20, no, it makes him 20. Oh my god, I am actually really old. Jesus Christ, okay. Abner, the fake Marcelo, you are going into our squad, pal. We're then going to come over to right mid, where no, we aren't having Tony Hibbert. We are having a man to represent all goalkeepers who play out field and do absolutely incredibly. Wojciech Szczesny. It's baffling how often you give a goalkeeper to someone at right back on squad of the showdown. And he's just sick. Like, he's actually better. He's better than Abner, who is got better stats. He's actually a left back. Granted, he is terrible, but Szczesny would actually do a better job at left back than Abner would. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't understand it. It happens all the time. Szczesny has got some of the best cross field balls I have ever seen in my life. And he is going into the squad at right back. We've then got one player before we finish it off on our final key player. So we've got coming in, in goal, bronze. His name is Rote to Shaw. And yes, of course, it is the lowest rated goalkeeper in the whole of the BPL, Harry Lewis. This guy, this guy is just used so, so often because we so often build BPL teams, BPL defences, and his name's just the same as Rote to Shaw's. How can you not put him in someone's squad? It's like when you go and give someone the finger. You thought that, not me. I just give people finger in my squads. <laughs> you just got, you just, it's, it's Harry, you've just got to give it to him. Harry Lewis going into the squad in goal before we round this off with the ultimate squad builder showdown legend as well. We have got Elio Crapra Dossi. Capra Dossi is his actual name, but he is a key player and he is, of course, known as Crapra Dossi because it's just that bad. He's just, he's just crap. He's literally. Just crap. I mean, Sergio Ramos did watch DVDs of his defensive performances before playing in the Champions League to get some tips. But he's still crap for a dossie. 
<laughs> but that's all you can say about him. He's like the worst player you can ever be given on Squad Builder Showdown to play centre back, and he's our fourth and final key player. We have had Capra Dossi. We have had Lucy me rolling. We have had. Yeah, and we have had big Lord God Hibbo, Tony bloody Hibbert. They are our four key players. That is the squad. We've actually got some honourable mentions down on the bench as well. We've got Noble Jasser, who's quite often given instead of Abner at left back. We've got Wilson, who's another one who's kind of given because of the ridiculous name. And you can shout like your Tom Hanks in Castaway. We've got the finger, who is always given. People just love giving people the finger. Your thoughts, not mine. In squads, we've got Funes Mori, who's actually sick and given because he's there because he's good. He's just, he just dominates anyone. You can put the striker Ronaldo. Doesn't matter. Funes Mori in squad with the showdown. We'll just put him in his back pocket. We've got Bispo, one of the other worst centre mids in the Liga BBVA. I'm pretty sure he is. We've got, how often have you said I would like the Brazilian Ronaldo in FIFA? There he is. It's a Brazilian Ronaldo. <laughs> when people ask for Ronaldo, give them the Brazilian one. There you go. Play your trump card. Brazilian Ronaldo. He's been played a couple of times. He's absolutely awful as well. And then we've got Yanez, who is quite often played as a trump card because we're always building Liga BBVA squads. He links nice and strongly to some absolutely sick players. The Bales, the Ronaldos, the Benzemas, the Cruz, the anyone but he's a bronze goalie. So there we go. He is our final honourable mention. That is the legends of Squad Builder Showdown. Harry Lewis, Abner, Lucy, me rolling, Crap Rodossi, Chesney, Son, Doggy Dog, Serrano, Fernandez, Ariola, the nipple, and big Tony Hibbert. This is going to be absolutely bloody awful. Basically, because this team sucks, but we're going to go into a game and we are going to try it out. We're going to get into the visions. Let's just do it because this is going to go very badly. Let's go. Here we go then. It's only Division 10, but I'm still thinking, yeah, this is going to go very badly. This is going to go awfully. I don't know what he was thinking when he said my squad was called Full Legends. Might have crapped himself and then he's actually gone and seen it. So. <laughs> oh dear, his squad is sick, right? This is going to be a struggle, but fingers crossed the Legends can pull through. Let's go. Uh-oh, Lucimi. Oh my god, Serrano, you tanky thought that guy had his teddy bear. Sonoop doggy dog. See, he's T-dog. Oh my god, that is the worst dribbling I have ever seen in my life. And I have seen Tony Hibbert do step overs. Oh my god, Tony Hibbert. Oh my god, oh my god. He's playing through the nipple. He wants it back. Ref! Ref, come on! No! Oh no, crapper Dossi. Come on, Harry. Yeah, he was never going to save anything, was he? It's gone badly. It's gone badly. Oh, God. Do you know legends have legend cards? And they get, like, rated back in the day when they were really good instead of how they'd actually play now. Like, imagine having, like, a 50-year-old Peter Schmeichel in goal. That just doesn't happen, does it? They rate him when he's, like, used to play for Man United. I think these guys' legend cards got a little bit confused. And they're rated when they're like actual 50. Instead of giving them when they're in like their prime squad builder showdown, absolutely balling out days, do you know what I mean? It's just not good, it's not fair. Why does Ryan Giggs get to be rated when he was 25? And poor Harry Lewis gets rated like he's absolutely terrible, like he is. Oh, Lewis see me flying in. He knows he's protected with his app, that's what it is. He can do that sort of stuff. Serrano stealing footballs instead of teddy bears. Tony Hibbert being useless. Oh my god. Chip him! Go on, Hibbo! No! <laughs> oh, it was so close. The dream was there. Take two. Oh my god, he's turned him. Oh, why? Here we go. Who's that on the ball? I don't know. The commentators don't know, but he's passed it to Hibbo. Oh my god. Hibbert is through on goal. Hibbert has... Yes! He scored! Oh, what a finish! Get off the crossbar, Tony Hibbert! That is the sort of stuff that you look at that, Captain Hibbo. That is what I am talking about. Oh, what a strike. The dip in off the bar. There is no saving that. Tony Hibbert, take a bow, son. Is there any way to put a fitness card on a half-time? Because I think I'm going to need one. Snoop Doggy Dog. Plays it off to Big Tone. Referee. Oh, he's offside. 
Oh no, Raheri, Harry, Hamana, Nana. What are you doing, son? You've just threw balls it straight to him, mate. Go on, T Dog. He hasn't got any skills, you've literally just got to run in straight lines. And it's bloody working! Finish that! The only thing worse than this team is this weather. If you guys can hear that rain, it is going mad. Oh my god, go on, Fernandez. Hibo's back post! Hibo's back post! No, that dive! Oh! Oh, it's foul one. Lucimi just couldn't stop the Kadira shot. My favourite part of this game has been how seriously this guy is taking it. Like, he's playing against his team and he's trying so hard and passing it around the back and everything. But like, come on, bro. You're only 4-1 up against me. I don't even discard for you and my players. <sighs> it's the end of the game. We lost 5-1. We would have had to discard four of our players. But it's probably due to the fact that usually you only have one or two of them players in your squad. Not a whole bloody squad of them. But anyway, I've quite enjoyed playing with them. Tony Hibbert scored a cracking goal, which is more goals than he's ever scored in his professional competitive football career ever. So that's a positive. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's just been a little bit of fun. If you have, remember to smash a like and you can go check out a squad for the showdown on the transferred Ibrahimovic that I did the other day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you are new and I'll see you next time.